Gmail started rolling out a new layout earlier this year and I've now got it in my free Gmail accounts, so I thought I'd go through the changes with you. This new layout is Google's way of streamlining everything so you can access it all in your Gmail. So Gmail, Chat, Spaces and Meet are now all together on the same screen. And if you don't want to see the Meet and Chat options, then don't worry because I'm going to show you later in this video how to disable them. And if you want to go back to the old version of Gmail, then I'll show you how to do that too. So let's crack on. So the first thing that you'll probably notice is this new side panel here on the left hand side. Depending on which app you click on, whether it's Gmail, Chat, Spaces or Meet, this main app window here will change. You also still have the option in the top left corner here to collapse the menu so you've got more space to see your main window. Click on it again to expand the menu. If you hover over each app, you'll see a quick preview of each one. And when you click on any of them, then the main app window here changes to that particular app. So when you click into chat, you can start a new chat if you want to, or you can click into a conversation that's already there, which appears in the main app window here. If you click on the three dots of this main conversation here, three dots over on the right hand side, you've also got other options available here, including pinning the conversation to the top. If you use Google Spaces in your chat, then you can access that as well by clicking on Spaces. But I'm not going to go into Spaces because I've never used it, so I don't want to give out any wrong information about it. Another feature with the chat is the status bar that you can see up in the top right corner here. This means that you can set yourself as active, do not disturb so that your chat notifications are muted, or you can be away, away from your desk, etc. And you have the added option of creating your own personal one, which could be quite fun. Next, we move on to Google Meet. So click on the Meet in this left hand side panel here, and you'll see any upcoming meetings that are scheduled. You also have the option of creating a new meeting here, which will bring up a link to a new meeting that you can either start now or you can send an invitation. And you also have the option of joining a meeting with a code right from within your Gmail. And that's all there is to it. It's not that daunting after all. So earlier I said I'd show you how to disable the chat and meet functions if you don't want them visible in your Gmail. And there's actually a couple of different ways to do this. The quickest way is to go into your settings by clicking the cogwheel in the top right corner here. And you should see a section called apps in Gmail here. Just click on customize. And it's a matter of deselecting or selecting which one you want to see or not see. So I'm going to disable Google Chat and click Done. Gmail will then reload with the new settings. So I've just deselected Chat and you can see that I just have Gmail and Google Meet down the side here. And because I've disabled the chat, you will see that the status bar in the top right here is, has now disappeared. So if you don't actually have the apps in Gmail option here, if you don't actually have that available, an alternative way is to click into see all settings here and go to the chat and meet tab across the top here. Click on Google chat if you want it to be visible or off if you don't. And you also have a section here for meet where you can show or hide the meet section as well. And then obviously save changes and Gmail will then reload again. Now, if you don't like this new layout at all and you want to go back to how Gmail looked before, then simply click on the cogwheel in the top right corner and the first option says you're using the new Gmail view, go back to the original view. If you click on there and it will ask you for a bit of feedback as to why you want to go back, type something in there and then click reload and it will reload back to the old layout. If you don't have this option here, if that's not available to you, then click into see all settings and in the general tab, the very first section says main menu. You've got the new view and original view. Just click back onto the original view, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click save changes. And again, Gmail will reload back into the old layout. And that's it. So what do you think of this new layout? Are you using it yet? Let me know in the comments what you think. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.